Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Mach 1 shoulder rest. And this video is not going to be like a product review, but kind of, it's going to be more so like what I think about it after 10 years of use. Stick around to the end of the video for my honest thoughts on the Mach 1. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for stopping by this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications for when you, for when I upload videos, you get notified for when they come out. It also helps me out as a content creator um, to provide more videos, more free videos and better content for you. Oh, the Mach 1. The Mach 1 is a beautiful, beautiful shoulder rest. And I've been using this Mach 1 for a very, very long time. I would say maybe um, over 10 years I've been using this. And uh, this is my review on what it looks like, how it feels after 10 years. Do I want to switch shoulder rests? Do I want to continue using it? Do I want to use a different one? Stick around and find out. So let's start off with the video of a review, perhaps, and let's talk about the, the Mach 1. So this Mach 1, the one that I'm holding in my hand, is made of maple wood. Um, this, is a, this is a shoulder rest that retails for, you know, it's over the $30 range, so it's a little bit pricier than like your regular Kuhn uh, plastic shoulder rest. Um, it also, I think it's, I, I believe it's over $45, I believe, and I'll put the, the correct price in the video down below here. And uh, what's not to love about this Mach 1? I think the, and I could be a little biased because I've been using for a long time, but I was introduced to the Mach 1 by my violin teacher growing up because she used the Mach 1. And a very cool thing I'm right now, as I'm as I'm talking, I'm, tr I'm gonna be showing you uh, the, the, the pros of this Mach 1. And that is that you could extend um, the, the length, depending on how wide your violin is, then you can you know, take the screw off, you can um, put it back on uh, however you want, and you could also adjust the height because the, the screw is at a decent height for um, adjusting depending on how long your neck is, depending on what your shoulder is like. And what's also unique about this shoulder rest are the, the little shoulder grips here. I think what's really cool, it makes it like a very clean look. And what's nice about this is that when you put the shoulder rest on the violin, um, you're kind of covering it a little bit too. So that way, like if for whatever reason, like you hit somebody else, like if you're in orchestra rehearsal, you bump into someone and you have like this little cover here. That's really nice. Um, the rubber is also like a very, it's durable. It's lasted me for this long, for 10 years. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good option for anyone who is like really interested in trying to find something that has a little bit more contour, has a little bit more shape. Um, doesn't want, doesn't really need to adjust like the Bon Musica um, in the in the previous video, and I'll leave a link to the Bon Musica if you're interested right up here. How does it look um, without the violence? So again, this is a very this is a very specific shape of uh, shoulder rest, and it's really nice because it just it lays really nicely and it's very comfortable too. Um, this this little grip here is uh, is a very is a very soft i wouldn't even say it's a foam per se it's um i mean i would say it's like more of a cover because it's um it's again it's supposed to complement the, the the shoulder rest a little bit and like if you're struggling with the height of the shoulder rest it's not going to really impact it that much another benefit to the mach one is that it's made of wood again maple wood and you know there are theories out there that your violin sounds better if you have a wooden shoulder rest. I'm not sure if there's like a study that actually debunks this, if it's fact or myth. I think kind of it's it's kind of true because you know the vibrations of the instrument kind of flow through the wood and the pores of a of a wooden shoulder rest a lot better than it would like a metal one or a plastic one. So that's also something to consider when you're buying a Mach one. Is will the sound improve? And if you're if you really don't care about like size or fit, you just need something that kind of does the job. This is good because it's comfortable. Also, it help, it does help improve your sound a lot, at least in my opinion. After 10 years of use on and off with this Mach One, um, you know I definitely have some opinions on it. So I talked about all the pros, but what are the cons of Mach One shoulder rest? Well, the first con is that <laughs> this this. Uh, you know, this foam like comforter thing is starting to really, really go down. Um, you can see that there's really nothing there. There's just wood and like this foam just keeps pushing down depending on like, I'm keep pushing it this way. 
so that's a downside and you can see that uh, on the bottom of this foam you know starting to really go off but you know i'm you know i'm a serious violinist i play you know many hours in the day i practice i teach so i needed something i need something that really works well for me you know after 10 years of use you know for many many hours of playing this will happen something to consider when you're purchasing any kind of shoulder rest for that matter another downside is that if for whatever reason this foam comes off then i don't think mach 1 you you're able to order like a separate sleeve i think you have to purchase the sleeve with the with the mach 1 so that's a downside it would be nice to have um that kind of that brand loyalty and you know an like an opportunity to be a loyal mach 1 customer like you know violent accessories are, are already expensive and you know you're, you're shelling out over 45 dollars for a shoulder rest and this one little thing can uh can really help your your playing but that's just my opinion i know that mach 1 is also a business and they need to you know they need to keep some revenue going so i think the only way that if you want to get a new foam or a new um like a new pad per se um you'll just have to buy a, a new shoulder rest and that's kind of a bummer another downside i think this is a big one is that even though i said that the rubber over here is a positive it could also be a negative because um, after many years of use that the mach 1 actually slips for you know very easily we know like if you have your violin under your armpit in rest position or you know like there are many moments during gigs and during orchestra performance where i my arm seemed to be a little on the heavier side and then the shoulder rest collapses on me and uh, it really shouldn't happen but it does and i think that's part of the, the part of the reason is because of these these you know these rubber um legs these rubber arms have kind of um i think they they need to go you know r.i.p and uh <laughs> so that that's that's a problem and especially like when you're playing in a orchestra and there's a pianissimo section and then that happens in your you know that collapsing of the shoulder rest with your violin it makes a really awkward wooden noise and it echoes that <laughs> you don't you don't want that so that's also something to consider um, for the long term but again i've had this mach 1 for over 10 years and that's what happens when you've had it for 10 years you know for the new mach ones that's totally not a problem the foam is great the the legs have probably improved since then i even know that when i used to work at a violin shop the curve of the Mach 1 has actually changed and there are I think different models on uh, depending on what your shoulder is like you can choose from various models there you have it that is the Mach 1 review uh, in Maple after 10 years of use if you like this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell notifications and also hit the like button question of the day what shoulder rest do you use and leave your comments down below let's start a conversation and um, I read every single comment so I want to start this conversation um, with this community thank you for sticking around see you next time